welcome to Alan Wall's Photography. I'm Alan. It's Monday. I'm supposed to be working, so I thought I'd do some macro photography instead. Isn't that just the way it always goes? This is a little tiny bite-sized video uh, about how to pose spiders. tiny little video uh, about a tiny little creature. I came across this absolutely gorgeous ornate orb weaver um, in some goldenrod getting ready to be eaten by one of my favorite ambush bugs. Anyway, I thought you might like to uh, see how I pose tiny spiders because it's a bit of an art. It's a little tricky actually. I don't have a way to, uh, to record what I'm actually doing through the microscope, uh, but what I think I'm gonna do is set up a macro lens uh, on a good camera uh, as close as I can get to, to the stage, and I'll do the work using the light from the microscope, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to, to show you a good enough picture so that you can see the various steps I go through to do it. You're not going to need much piece of foam board and some pins, preferably zero or smaller. I'm going to use zero, zero um, insect pins, black enamel, uh, but use whatever you've got. Uh, this is just, th this is something that's practice. You just do it over and over and over again, but it's good to know what the basic general principles are um, to get you started. So that's what we're going to do. It'll only take five minutes. See you in a moment. So when I'm working on something this small through the microscope, I either use a an extremely sharp pair of... Um, there are tweezers, microvascular tweezers, or uh, pins. And if I'm using pins, I'm usually using the double zero size insect pins that uh, same brand that, that I use for everything else. Ent Entero, Ento Crisis. What makes him so attractive is the, uh, the pattern on his abdomen. So I wanna really emphasize uh, the abdomen, the color of his head, the arrangement of his eyes. His underside isn't very interesting, but I don't know, we'll, we'll take a look. So I haven't dried him. He's straight out of, um, of alcohol. So let me explain what I am going to do. Uh, First thing is I'm going to I'm going to get him good and dry, get it, let all the alcohol evaporate. And then I'm going to get all of his legs appropriately spread out, which is hard when the well it, it gets easier. Right now they're sticking together because of surface tension. Uh, and that will that will lessen as he dries, obviously. See what, I'm gonna flip him over to get his legs going. There we are. Now even the underside of the belly is pretty impressive. When I caught this guy, he was digesting a much larger insect I don't know if you can see that in my tweezers, but um, it's a, an insect leg. I know it's it's a fraction of a millimeter long, but uh, it is a, a a bug's leg, which I imagine was hanging off his mustache after after uh, eating that other bug. So when he's on his back, it's a lot easier to get in there with very fine tweezers or a pin. You do both legs at the same time. So what I'll do is I'll put the, let me get him turned. I'm slightly out of focus on my microscope. 
This is the new microscope that replaced my old my old one. My old one was a, a Nikon and a very, very nice scope, uh, but very old. This is a very inexpensive but brand new scope. And I'm blown away by the quality. I, I really am. It is so much better than I expected for, for the money. Um, in fact, the day I got it, I spent hours, just hours and hours pulling specimens out and um, just looking at them, just examining them. They're, the uh, optics are so crisp and clear that you can see things that you can't see even on a good macro photograph. All right, so that's about all I'm going to be able to do right now. But with his back legs like this, I can kind of stand him up. Now, the idea is I am going to... Uh, he's got some grunge on his belly. Oh, it's, a, 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 it's another insect. I hope you can see this. I'll position it towards the camera and then I'll try to um, blow it up for you when I edit the video. But right there is uh, the remains of a, a fly, it looks like. Okay, all right, so I'm getting off track. What I need to do is I need to uh, pin this guy to a small piece that's going to look like a very, very big piece of uh, foam board. This is about half an inch by an inch. And uh, what I want to do is put a pin through this and pin him in the thorax and then gently bring his, his body down towards the board in a way that um, it, it appears that his legs are standing on the board, that he's actually walking on the board. Beautiful view of the spinneret too, my goodness. And it's getting pretty dry now. I don't think I'm gonna have to blow dry at all. All right, so what I'll do next is get the, uh, the little piece of board and um, you can keep an eye on my spider while I stick a pin through this. Um, I'm going to, to use a double zero pin because I don't have a zero pin in my hand right now. If you're sticking a double zero through a piece of card, you've got to be so careful that you don't bend it. We don't need much of it through. Now, That is it through, let me. And that's more than, more than enough. You know, I have the pin at a bit of an angle. Let me change that much better, much straighter. So what I'm gonna do, instead of working with it with a little bit of pin, I'm gonna push the pin through so I've got more room to see what I'm doing. And, that's the center of the thorax right there where the pin head is. Like so. One quick jab. The next step is to very carefully, because as you pull the pin back, it'll vibrate and it can knock the spider off because it catches on the wood, not on the foam. And you pull the, the pin back until your, I hope you can see from the side there, maybe a, a millimeter or so above, just when it's in the right place, very, very carefully. Using your tweezers, pull the legs out, not pull them off, pull them out from under the body. If you pull them all the way out like this, they look more natural and they're less likely to curl back up. The board will hold them out. You can really appreciate how 
diminutive the back legs are. You know what, that's, that's probably good enough. Seeing as my intention is to photograph this guy um, from behind, photographing his back, pretty happy with, uh, with how that looks. So let's go ahead and photograph it. science it's just a matter of having a, a steady hand and being very patient uh, and and being ready to <laughs> redo it over and over and over again that's one of the things that separates the macro men from the macro boys is uh, having to do it over and over again when you, you don't get it right the first time and posing spiders is definitely up there in the um, the higher levels of, um, of difficult. Never use uh, super glue on a spider. It works great on things with exoskeletons. It doesn't work well at all on spiders. So uh, you have to actually do some, some super accurate pinning. Anyway, I really appreciate you joining me for this short video. I've got a more substantial discussion of funky adapters coming up next and uh, may actually have um, a couple of extra videos this week so thanks for watching have fun stay safe and i'll see you in a few days bye bye